Con, con, I found it, brothers. All right, but let me just read on. All right. This is uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 4, verse 10 again. The point is in 15. <clears throat> it says, which when the king had granted and had gotten into his hand the rule, he forthwith brought his own nation to the Greekish fashion. And the royal privileges granted of special favor of the Jews by the means of John, the father of Eupolemus, who went ambassador to Rome for amity and aid, he took away and putting down the government, which were according to the law, he brought up new customs against the law. The law, what? The most high, right? I believe. For he built. Yep. Yep. For he built gladly a place of exercise under the tower itself and brought the chief young men under his subjection and made them wear a hat. And now such was the height of Greek fashions and increase of heathenish manners through the exceeding profaneness of Jason, that, that ungodly wretch and no high priest, that the priest had, see, this is how wicked Jake became, man. And these are, these are, these are Jews. See, that's why um, we go back to Jeremiah 9. See, Jeremiah 9 and 26. <sighs> Egypt and Judah. Because where do you get the term Jew from? You get it from the word Judah. Right? It says that the priest had no courage to serve anymore at the altar, but despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices, hastening to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise after the game of discus called them forth not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. You see that? You see that? This is why the Lord said what he said about Jake, man. And that's why he's going to do what he's going to do. All right? To wicked two-thirds like this, man. First Maccabees one eleven. What does that say? Yeah. See, First Maccabees one and eleven. In those days, when there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us," for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. No, it's because you, your hearts are uncircumcised. You're wicked. All right. You done, you done, you done became so uncircumcised and unclean in your hearts that you would what? Undergo a surgical procedure known as epispasm. All right. All right, which is to put the foreskin back on your, your stuff, man. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to make that point. Lord willing, this was edifying, man. But that's what's being that's what's that's that's what's going on, man. Alright. There's a historical point right here. And look at Jake now to this day, man. You know? Jeremiah 9 25. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab. And all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised. And all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. Alright, so with that. All praises. Call Hawaii. To Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Yahweh Kodash. Alright. Till next lesson. Shalom.